Hey all, Blake here with another video and today we're going to do a species spotlight on an awesome Lake Tanganyikin cichlid. Let's talk about the Julidochromus transcriptus today. Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so the Julidochromus transcriptus, in particular I've got the Gombi. They are also known as the masked Julie, which is pretty cool. They're named the masked Julie because they do have some stripes on their face, kind of giving them a bit of a masked effect. But uh, overall, they're just an awesome little Lake Tanganyikan fish. The Julidochromus transcriptus are the smallest of the Julidochromus, which is actually a huge family of fish. But these guys stay pretty compact. The females are going to top out at about seven centimeters or just over two inches, say two and a half inches. Males are going to be smaller than the females, so. Um, you can keep them comfortably in around about a 20 gallon or a 60 litre tank, something around about the um, two foot mark for a tank. In terms of coloration, they're kind of a silvery white fish with some dark bars. Uh, they go vertical along the body and horizontal on the face. They can also have some blue sheens to them and uh, just overall, they're kind of a more subtle fish, but a stunning fish nonetheless. Julidochromus are an omnivore, so they will appreciate proteins and also vegetable matter in their diet, keep them regular. Don't feed them too heavy on the protein, but also don't uh, withhold the protein from them. So um, keep them a very diet and you'll find that they'll come on strong with uh, coloration and condition. In terms of water conditions, temperature wise, you're gonna wanna keep them between about 73 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 22 to 27 degrees Celsius. And you wanna give them that high Tanganyikan pH around about 8.5 to nine. If you do give them the right conditions, they can be quite long lived. They can live between five to eight years, which is pretty awesome. And they'll be a nice long term pet for you. Just like a lot of the Lake Tanganyikan cichlids, they can be a little bit aggressive, but I wouldn't say that they're up there with the most aggressive species from these African uh, lakes. These guys I'd suggest are about semi aggressive, especially when uh, breeding. In terms of breeding, they do form monogamous pairs. So basically they're going to mate uh, with a specific female and keep that partnership which is pretty unique in the fish world. When they do have fry they're going to be quite small so I'd start them off on microworms before progressing them to baby brine shrimp. In terms of parenting they're going to be okay but I'd probably separate them once they get to the free swimming stage just because they can get spooked quite easily and they might uh, attempt to consume all the protein in the area as a defense mechanism which could include the fry so keep that in mind and I think the best attack for these guys is to unfortunately separate the fry from them and they are not a shell dweller they're a rock dweller so they're gonna uh, breed between crevices in rocky um, sort of outcrops so you give them lots of stones and rocks and pile them up so that they can find their little perfect nook within the gaps of the rocks in which to spawn on other than that guys, these guys are a spunky little fish. They're gonna hang around more towards the bottom of the aquarium. And at first they're gonna be pretty shy, so they'll probably hang to the back. Give them heaps of uh, areas to hide up the front and you'll find that they'll be a lot more social and outgoing. Hopefully you liked this video and I definitely recommend giving the transcriptus a go. If you did like the video, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.